Liz, I'm the baker that sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're a subscriber. As always, it's really lovely to have you here as I share my sewing journey. So welcome back to my channel. Today I've got my Sew Hilly Jane classic box that I thought I would show you. I know there's lots of people that have done unboxings already, but I really enjoy sharing um, the box with you and also getting lots of ideas for what to turn the fabric into. Before I start with the box, I'll let you know what I'm wearing. And I'm wearing one of my relatively new makes, which is the Tilly and the Buttons Mabel dress, which I absolutely love. I love it so much that I've sewn up three versions and I've definitely got plans for more. I think this is gonna be the perfect sort of spring summer dress. Um, I was a little bit unsure about the silhouette, I'll be really honest. I was a bit unsure about this neckline. I don't often show kind of my chest. Quite often I've got um, quite high necked um, sort of t-shirts on or um, quite high necked dresses on and then it also shows the back as well and I don't often have that part of my body on show either but I absolutely love there's elastic here so you get sort of a little bit of a ruffle and then you've got this little bow detail you've got elastic in the sleeves which keeps the sleeves in place and then you've also got shearing on the cuffs creates this absolutely gorgeous detail which creates sort of a billowy effect on the sleeves and then you've also got shearing on the bodice here which sort of brings it in um, and the skirt is ever so slightly gathered from that shearing it's absolutely gorgeous this fabric I got from Rainbow Fabrics I think a while ago um, but yeah I really love it I really love the look I love that front even though it's a silhouette that I wasn't too sure about I'll put pictures in of me wearing the dress so you can see what it looks like. I've got it on with tights today because it's freezing. Um, but I just wanted to wear a pretty dress, so I've popped on tights. Um, but yeah, I love how this fabric moves and it works really nicely for the Mabel. I really love the pattern and I've got plans to sew a few more. Now, one thing to say, uh, maybe I should grab one of the other ones that I've made. One second. Um, one thing to say, I have got another one that I've made here in this gorgeous fabric that I got from Simi Sunshine. I love this fabric. This is one of my Make Nine fabrics. We're meant to have like this ruffly effect on the top. And you can see on here, I haven't actually got the ruffly effect because I didn't realise until I'd finished sewing it. And then I looked back at the pattern and I was like, uh-oh, you're meant to have ruffles here. I've put the elastic in the wrong channel here. It doesn't matter. It still looks really lovely. But for the next version, this one, I made sure that I put the elastic in the bottom channel, not the top channel. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's created this gorgeous ruffle. So I accidentally put it in that bit instead of that bit. And you've got this elastic here, which creates this gorgeous ruffle. Um, so if you're making it, don't make the same mistake that I did. Um, but yeah, it's a really cute pattern. I've gone for short sleeves on this fabric um, with exactly the same shearing across the sort of middle and that really lovely drapey skirt as well. The sleeves are absolutely gorgeous. On the shorter sleeves, you put the shearing about mm, maybe about five centimetres in and then it creates this really gorgeous sort of ruffle detail on the sleeve. So that's what I'm wearing. On to this month's box. So I haven't actually opened it yet, um, but I've seen loads on uh, Instagram about what's in the box. So I already know what the fabric is. I couldn't avoid spoilers. We've actually been away on holiday, so I knew that I wouldn't really be able to avoid spoilers of what's in the box. So it comes like this with this gorgeous sleeve, um, keeping it all intact. So I'm just gonna take that off. I love that it says on the front, unbox your sojo, because I get really excited about these boxes. I really love the element of surprise that you get with these boxes. And I know that that's not for everybody, but for me, I really love not really knowing what's going to come each month. And it really pushes me out of my comfort zone. Um, I've only had maybe one or two fabrics that I haven't used for myself, but actually I've just ended up either destashing them or sewing them up for Ruby or Lola or for somebody else in my family because they've ended up really loving the fabric. So they come beautifully presented like this in the box. I subscribe to the classic box, which is £35 a month. And in there you get fat quarters, a magazine, a sweet treat. Um, you get um, a haberdashery item. You also get a gift. Um, did I say sweet treat? I think I did. Um, and then you get two and a half meters of fabric and also Gutterman thread. The luxury box is £65 a month and you get a pattern. And the pattern actually in the luxury box is this pattern, the Tilly and the Buttons Mabel dress. I don't subscribe to the luxury box because I've got so many patterns. I say this every time I film a video, I've got too many patterns. I don't need any more patterns in my stash. And then the mini box is £20 a month and you get a meter of fabric. Sorry, the luxury box, you get three and a half meters of fabric. 
the mini box you only get a meter of fabric so i don't subscribe to that one because i just don't think a meter of fabric would be enough fabric for me i like getting two and a half meters of fabric anyway onto the box so it always comes wrapped in tissue I will also to say, if you are interested in subscribing to the boxes, there's a link down below where you can get 10% off your first box if you follow the link um, and also use the code LIZ10. Um, so I'm just going to open the tissue. And then the box usually stays lovely and pretty inside. It's a heavy box this month. Um, you get a magazine which tells you a little bit about the theme. So the theme this month is Zest for April 2023. And then you also get in there, the fat quarters are so beautifully laid out. I just want to hold them up, how beautiful they are. And I might use some of these to sew up some headbands. Um, I'm gonna be using, as part of the Selfless Sew April Challenge, I'm gonna be using a tutorial by Juliette Uzor. So some of these would make fantastic headbands. This one, I absolutely love tigers. Um, the class that I teach is called Tiger Class and we've got tiger teddies that go home with the children uh, with a storybook for them to read at bedtime. Um, I definitely need to make a headband using that fabric. I think the children in my class would absolutely love it. Love everything about that fat quarter, it's gorgeous. This one is very cute, it's got sloths on. Absolutely love that. I think I've just shown you that upside down. There we go, there's the sloths the right way around. This one has got colourful parrots on, beautiful. And then this one I absolutely love as well. I love, there's just something about that pop of yellow with that green background, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm very excited about using the fat quarters. I've seen lots of people sharing these on Instagram and on their YouTube channels. And I'm glad that they did because I wouldn't have a clue what these are, but these are bobbin minders. So we've got two of those. I don't have any of those in my stash. So the idea behind them is that you keep your bobbin with your matching thread. Um, I've always got bobbins that I've got loads of thread on left over from a project. So they're really handy. Um, and then our gift this month, I was very excited to see these, um, are some absolutely gorgeous watermelon um, earrings from Sapphire Frills. I love Sapphire Frills. I've got loads of their earrings. Um, and these are really cute watermelon earrings. Absolutely love them. They're so beautiful. Then I have got a baby blue Gutterman thread. So that shows you what colour my fabric is. The sweet treat this month is one of my favourites. They're sherbet lemons. I love those. They're going to go in my sewing space so I can eat those a little bit later when I do some sewing. We've got a business card for Sapphire Frills. I have bought some earrings recently from them and I shared them in one of my Sunday sewing um, catch-ups. I absolutely love them. So I'll link their shop down below. I'm just going to move my thread out of the way. Um, I'm not going to show you the fabric just yet. I really love the fabric that I've got. Um, it's really gorgeous, actually. It's not a fabric I would have chosen and it's not a colour I would have gone with, but I really love it. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the magazine, although I say that each time I film a video and then I end up going through it. It feels really thick this month. Um, but yeah, we've got the introduction from Hayley um, where she talks about how she came up with the theme for this month's box, which is Zest. Um, so she talks about the box is taking a fruity turn and we're celebrating our zestiness. Um, zest for life, zest for sewing, zest for everything, really. Um, the original spark for this theme came from the luxury fabric, which is a gorgeous watermelon double gauze. Now, I'm not a massive fan of double gauze, and we've had a few pieces of double gauze fabric in our classic boxes, and I've just used it for Lola. Lola loves wearing double gauze, so it's come in really handy when she's wanted a dress or a skirt or a top being made. Um, and what I really love about these boxes, I said at the start, is that quite often I'll get a fabric that I wouldn't necessarily have bought, but actually I turn it into something either for myself or for somebody else. It encourages me to sew for my family. I've got so many clothes in my wardrobe that actually any fabric that's going to push me to sew for other people is always a bonus. Um, the pattern, as I said, in the luxury box is the new Tilly and the Buttons Mabel dress and top pattern. Um, and the classic and mini boxes have got a cotton jersey in either a white or a blue with a little glitter cherry print. And then Laura and Esther have come up with some inspiration in the magazine. The back quarters are called Gone Wild from Craft Cotton Co. Um, and Sapphire Frills um, has provided the little gift in the boxes as well, in the classic and luxury boxes. 
So there's an interview with Sapphire Frills. So I'm looking forward to reading that interview later because I follow them on Instagram and they're very active in their stories. So I'm looking forward to um, reading that later. So the make of the month is this absolutely gorgeous um, Simplicity 8447 hooded blouse. It's so beautiful. I was very jealous of that fabric that came in the luxury box. It's February's Lady McElroy brushed cotton. Love the colours together. They're absolutely beautiful. And that blouse just looks absolutely stunning. And that is by Lisa, who is Threads in Cahoots. Uh, one meter makes so there are some ideas for if you subscribe to the mini box or you've got a meter of fabric and you're wondering what to do with it there are some ideas there for what to do with a meter of fabric three boxes three makes so esther got a meter of the cotton jersey in the mini box and she's made the friday pattern company adrian blouse i didn't realize you could get that out of a meter absolutely gorgeous i haven't actually made that blouse but i love everything about it i love that slight scoop neckline and the sleeves are absolutely beautiful so i have to see if i can have a go at maybe making that um gemma used the double gauze to make a pair of by hand london leo dungarees and they look so fun in that double gauze absolutely gorgeous i love that sort of denim shade of the double gauze I love the Leo dungarees. I've got quite a few pairs of them in my wardrobe. Gemma looks great there. Um, Laura used the classic box to make a uh, cotton jersey named Kilo Wrap Dress. And again, I love the Kilo Wrap Dress. That's a pattern I haven't visited for a really long time. So I could end up copying um, Gemma and sewing up the Kilo Wrap. So I could end up copying Laura and sewing up the Kilo Wrap Dress, perhaps. I'm not sure, I haven't made up my mind as to what I'm going to turn my fabric into yet. The Fat Quarter Project is something that could come in handy for work. Um, it's a drawstring storage bag, which is a great idea. And I've got loads of Fat Quarters, so I could still keep my idea of using my Fat Quarters for headbands and use different Fat Quarters to sew up the drawstring storage bag. The Makers Gallery is always full of lots of amazing inspiration. So we've got Suzanne, who has used the viscose crepe to make a pussy blow bow blouse from Dressmaker's Closet. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm yet to decide what to use my fabric for from last month. I think I'm probably going to go with trousers. Um, she sews happiness. Mary Ellen has um, made the chalk and notch fringe dress with the February's heart print cotton poplin, which I absolutely love. Really love that dress. Doris Creates has been using the Fat Quarters to make a gorgeous tea cosy with the January Fat Quarters. That's a great idea. And then Sewing Cinderella, Cordelia has made use of the brushed cotton um, from February's box to make the Friday Pattern Company Saguaro set, which is great. And then she's used lace on the back, which is such a great idea. And then we've got So Lottie So, with, this is a great idea. She's used a long length of cotton poplin to make her daughter a pillow bed by creating an overlapping hem at the bag and then sewing straight lines wide enough for five pillows. It's a great idea. Again, that could be something that I could sew up for school. All these ideas, I just need lots and lots of time. And then the profile is the lovely Emily. I was really pleased to see Emily in the magazine. I look forward to reading um, that interview a little bit later. Um, Emily makes the most gorgeous clothes. And then we've got pattern picks from the fold line. So lots of ideas from the fold line. Then we've got a spotlight on Jennifer Lauren. Um, so she's a New, New Zealand based pattern designer and I love her patterns. And then we've got Haley's Little Links, which I absolutely love. And she includes a recipe, which is a great uh, sort of little thing to include. I really love um, seeing what the recipes are. The recipe this month is for lemon bars. So spring and lemon go hand in hand, in my opinion. That gorgeously fresh and zesty scent, whether you're baking or cleaning, just shouts, shouts spring to me. So I'll definitely be giving these lemon bars a try this month. A lightly spiced shortbread base and a smooth, creamy filling, followed by a dusting of ice and sugar past my apron that's making my mouth water sounds delish and then we get um some information about what's in all the different boxes and then somewhere to plan sort of your makes and things so i've shared everything apart from the fabric and i got the blue colorway now the pale blue is not a color i would have gone for but seeing the kilo wrap dress in the magazine um it just looks absolutely gorgeous with that cherry print all over it i really love the little subtle sort of glittery 
um, sparkles that you get from those sort of greeny coloured cherries and then you've got sort of pinks and whites and plum coloured. So it's a cotton jersey. I really haven't got a clue what I'm going to turn this into. First of all, I thought it could be um, the, I've got to remember the name of it now, the Deer and Doe Orage dress. This would make a really lovely Deer and Doe Orage dress. Um, I could turn it into the True Bias um, Nova jumpsuit. I really love that jumpsuit pattern. Or I could sew the Kilo wrap dress. Um, what else could I turn it into? I'm trying to think. Um, I could turn it into some pyjamas. I feel like it needs to be a dress or a top. I know as soon as Lola spots this fabric, she's going to want some for herself. So I could make us matching tops maybe by using the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes t-shirt. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to turn it into yet. It's going to go in the wash. I'm very excited. I do love a cotton jersey and um, it's got a really fun, cute design all over it as well. So I'm very excited about this month's fabric. Let me know if you've got any ideas down below or if you have got a preference for which pattern that I talked about. So at the moment, I'm thinking either the Deer and Doe Orage dress, the uh, True Bias Nova jumpsuit or the Kilo wrap dress, perhaps, because I haven't sewn the Kilo wrap dress for ages. I haven't sewn the Nova jumpsuit yet for a, for a long time either. Um, so do let me know in the comments below which one you would pick or if you've got a different suggestion altogether. I'd really love to get your thoughts on what to turn this gorgeous cotton jersey into. So that was everything that came in the classic box this month. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what came in the box. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really love it if you could hit that subscribe button. You'll get notified of when I bring out my next video. Thank you as always for watching. Take care and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.